Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. Carl Gorka's here. Hi. OCG Ambassador Kwan. Yes. Super rep for Blacksmith Bioscience, ARS Scissors, but more importantly today, Microbe Life. Microbe Life. And uh, people have been asking, Carl, about the Microbe Life, especially the uh, Photosynthesis Plus. And so I thought it would be nifty if you did a refresher course, and for some people, the first time they're going to be introduced to what it is, what it does, how you use it, why you use it, and why it's different. Go! All right, Bob. <laughs> so, again, thanks for having me. Yeah. And here's the breakdown and the only reason why you'd listen or have an interest in this. First off, we're an additive, okay? We're not a food. But basically, we play well with others, which means no matter what you have in your grow, this is going to run on, alongside of it beautifully, and it does a couple of things. Uh, we're increasing that nutrient cycling, and we're also going into the leaf, the chloroplast in particular, and opening up that life spectrum 20% wider. So when we say it's photosynthesis plus, we're doing much more than assisting with photosynthesis. So this is, uh, and I'm going to break in for a second, unique to other products in the microbial field and that it still does all this soil stuff but it actually is in the leaf does leaf type stuff is that correct well right and you know i'll give you a, a real brief illustration yeah, sure. on that bob i mean for instance you know here's the leaf structure and oh I, yeah yeah close, close close and i don't know you know you guys probably won't see this as well on here uh -huh. but i've kind of drawn it up a little bit uh -huh. You know, and there's our leaf, you know, how we see it. So, what, you know, what makes this leaf function like anything? I mean, for instance, you could use nectar for the gods and whatever else you choose to feed your plants with, mm -hmm. put it on the plants, but get what? If it's in a dark room and there's no light at all. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just no matter how great the product is, mine, Scott's, or whoever. Got to light. It has no value. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. thankfully to Mother Nature, or a controlled environment like in here, basically we have photosynthesis that addresses the plant mm -hmm. to help it grow, just like you and I need that light. Sure. So basically we're dealing with water, light, and chemical energy. Okay, so I broke this down, CE by CD equals sugar. So it's chemical en energy by carbon dioxide by sugar, mm -hmm. okay? So what we're doing, so picture a leaf, okay? Because I told you we could open that leaf 20% mm -hmm. wider than it's capable of doing. Sure. Well, how we do that is basically, here's the coroplast, okay? It's just, just the center of the leaf, the, the, the spine. Right, just mm -hmm. beneath the tissue. Uh -huh. And so basically the intake with the sun opening up the spectrum of this leaf we're doing a couple things, you know, the carbon dioxide that enters up through the stomata, mm -hmm. the reflection off the leaf platelet, the chloroplast within there, mm -hmm. everything's functioning all at once. Sure. We're breaking okay. those carbons down, feeding the plant the sugars it needs, but we're doing it by actually opening up that leaf wider. And that's not a BS sales pitch, we're doing that through straight biology. Okay. It's like you and I taking a probiotic, Bob, uh -huh. you know, we're going to feel the results, we're going to sure. feel happier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh -huh. and this isn't being artificially stimulated, uh -huh. if you will. It's being done completely natural. But we're stepping up its game. I mean, uh -huh. the plant's responding accordingly like anything in life existence. Uh -huh. The better you treat it, the better you feed it, it's going to respond accordingly nice okay so with that being said when it's like photosynthesis plus we do more than just the photo side right you know, we're dealing with nutrient cycling we're assisting uptake of variety of different nutrients and mm -hmm. people are you know dealing with their phosphates the phosphorus although we dip in phosphorus but i'll touch on that briefly okay but everything else that encompasses that plant to give it proper nutrients we help increase that nutrient intake but again, we're doing it through straight biology. We're doing it through 32 strains that basically this bottle that you're looking at, and you can see that sediment floating around in the bottle. Right, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. We put a, 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 a self-occurring sulfur in this bottle and we provide a food source in each and every bottle. But anyway, back to my point, this sits under grow lights for a period of six days. Now that fermentation process takes place, all these bacterias work together in this beautiful consortium of a cocktail, if you will, mm -hmm. two of these strains assist with photosynthesis. That's why basically the clear bottle. 
Now, once this is processed after mm -hmm. six days, you can put it into a dark containment. You can put it anywhere as long as it's not direct sunlight. It's good to go now, but it's, it, it cooks in this bottle. It, it, it gets it, the light makes it grow inside that bottle after you bottle it. It does. And you can see that purple sheen, like for instance, just this sitting here today mm -hmm. and the light coming through the yeah. window, mm -hmm. those phototropes attach to that wall. Oh my goodness. And you never oh. want to put this into another container. You always want to keep it in the container basically that it was created. Sure, in. sure. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. It's six days. That process is done. Uh -huh. So we have two strains of photosynthetic bacteria. Uh -huh. We have 30 strains of other types of bacteria. Now on the, on the uh, side, we basically break down a lot of our consortium of bacteria. Okay. Between the phototrophs, the autotrophs, the heterotrophs, the chemotrophs, and the archaea. Now you could Google all of these. All of these working together in this consortium help with the digestive process. These are microbial life Forms. Totally, totally. It's the, the, the photosynthetic microorganisms, the okay. balancing act, we call it. Okay. That's what this is. So the interest is, okay, I got nutrient uptake, uh -huh. uh, increased photosynthesis. Uh -huh. So that means plant health, plant production, and just one happy family in the soil Beautiful. well. You know, everything's clicking on all cylinders, and what it does for you with your products is now you're able to use more available resources of that product. Not that you don't have a good product already, oh, but okay. this is just going to complement it. So this is an additive. So I guess I could just additive. use this with nothing else except my water. But when I'm using my Nectar for the Gods, or I'm using my Mammoth Pea, or my Culture Biologics, or any of those type other uh, bacterial things, this is going to help them to work more effectively. Absolutely, Bob. It's a booster shot! That's a, you know what, maybe I'll use that in the future. It's like vitamins or minerals. It's just like food for us that gives us energy. It gives those other things, the pain energy to, to, to use the, what it has available to it. Because, and exactly. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if you have just a blank soil and you're, well, I got this liquid in a bottle that's phenomenal, uh -huh, uh -huh. it's not going to do a whole lot for you. Right, because there's nothing there for it to work there's with. There's nothing for it to run uh, alongside okay. with. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, absolutely it does. But the eloquence of this is people look at this as a compost tea in a bottle as well. Remember, sure. it's living microorganisms. Get this is a vegetative going. bacteria. So because yeah. it's in an anaerobic state, mm -hmm. and that self-occurring sulfur that we put into this bottle, uh -huh. to make maintain and feed this dying, recreating circle of life, if you will, uh -huh. in the bottle, uh -huh. that's what's preserving and putting this bacteria back to sleep. It's its own little uh, ecosystem. ecosystem in there. So, I mean, open it, break the seal, you have a year. Even okay. though that smell may dissipate and discolor, uh -huh. you still have a year of solid... Let me ask you this. So you have a year, it probably is, a, it's not, it's a year and a day or a year and 10 years or whatever, but it's a year of solid, totally effective as it is. 100%. And then it starts to, to fade away. Slowly. Slowly fade away. So you've got some time to use it, but you, you, you should get as much as you're going to use in six months or maybe a year so that you, and buy a smaller size so that you can keep going through it so it's fresh as a daisy. And that's what, and, and you know, Bob, that's a good point because that's why you have different bottle sizes uh -huh. depending on the size of the well, drawer. Yeah. Because the application rate, remember, is only five mils to a gallon. So someone might pour this into their 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 eighteen hundred gallon whatever tank, or someone might not even use this whole thing because they're watering. A, they got one plant. Right. So no matter what it is, about what the thing is, buy the application rate. So take the application rate, the days you're going to do it, how many days a week, and then kind of multiply that out and say, hmm, I probably need need a, a smaller one or a bigger one based on that. You know, peppers, tomatoes whatever you're growing. Mm -hmm. It works very, very effective. Cool. Especially if you're all about organic and doing things uh -huh. naturally, you know, like we have with nectar and culture and mammoth okay. and SLF. You know, all the sure. rock stars in the grow. I got a couple questions. Yeah. Um, would you use this outdoor? You grow a big tree? Oh, absolutely. So if you're doing that, would you, you have a different application rate to it, do you think? Or would you? No. no? The application rate always stays the same. Always stays the same. The thing that everybody gets, this is the number one complaint, uh -huh. Oh my gosh, my wife, my girlfriend, I open up that bottle in the house and she's ready to kill uh, me. Yeah. But I know the value behind that smell and it's so good. Mm -hmm. You know, but at, you know, not buyer beware, but after 10 or 12 okay. minutes, it flashes off. Uh-huh. You know, and that's fine. You know, 20 to 40 minutes, lightning fast, I said it's mostly vegetative bacteria, we're mm -hmm. fully absorbent systemically into that plant. And then within an hour, done. 
leaves are praying, everything That's is going. Open, good to go. You know, that just opened up everything, that circulatory system of the plant. It's responding as such. You know, I talked about the leaf, what we're doing there. We're doing a lot of things at once when you look at, you know, the whole photosynthesis process of that. So would you use this in place of your tea day? Well, thank you for bringing me back out of left field, Bob. So, yeah, it, it is a living organism in the bottle. So a lot of people, you know, they'll go through their tea cycles, 24, 36 hours, some mm -hmm. even go longer. Uh -huh. This is all ready to go as far as a microorganism. So for instance, if you're feeding heavy with, you know, maybe you're doing your or an organic um, dry amendment food source or you're running nectar, um, on your tea days, you can inoculate with beneficials. Mm -hmm. But in cases where people, I still like my tea and the old uh, schoolers, a okay. lot of them uh -huh. feed their plant with teas. Sure, That's sure. their food source because okay. they put their own recipes uh -huh. together. Uh -huh. And we do provide an application guide for compost teas. Okay. It's really not needed in the sense to where, again, if you're running a brew cycle, the reason you won't want to run this in that brew cycle is you're going to basically start burning off a lot of these benefits. Oh, sure. Through competition or through them? Well, just aeration. The aeration. They're going to they're gonna evaporate? They're just going to dissipate. They're dissipating. Dissipate. Yeah. Okay. They're, so the, if you, you could use this and no tea. Just use this for your tea day. Absolutely. Or if you're still using your tea, you could brew your tea up and then pour some of this in your tea. Last be, 20 minutes. The last 20 minutes. Just okay. To mix so it, it mixes well. it up. You, you want to mix it up good in there, but you don't want to brew it in there. Exactly. Okay, okay. I mean, you could if you brew it, you're going to lose 25-30% of its value. It's not the end of the world, but, but why, why do it? Why do it? Okay. You know, so this you, is best practice. If you want to get the full bang for your buck. It sounds like it's hard to go wrong with it. Well, it is, and that's why it's a no-brainer and why anybody would want to listen to yeah. me. And the other question that comes up, well, it says microbe life hydroponics. Hydroponics, rock wool, soil, aquaponics, cocoa core. All application, it works very effectively on. Oh, okay. So what would you say the, the difference is between how it, it works in, a, say, a straight hydroponic environment versus uh, in a soil thing? Same. Same type thing. It's just it's uh, making the, the whatever you have in there more effective. And let me ask you this. If I'm running some sort of a, a salt-based nutrient in my um, system, yeah. in my hydroponics, and I put this in there, would I want to use less nutrients? Or would I be just the same because it's going to be more effective when it goes in? Well, there's two, there's two answers to that question. Bob. Okay. First off, remember I said with nutrient cycling, you're increasing your uptake by an average of 30%. Well, that's what, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I'm asking. So in this industry, you're going to find more than not a lot of the growers, mm -hmm. including myself, you want to see how much you can push that plant. How hard you can push you it. You know, she's taking a lot of food. Uh -huh, I'm going uh -huh. to give her more and see where she goes before I get any type oh, of indication okay. that I'm burning her or uh -huh. getting a lockout in place of some sort. So if I were running an organic line in soil, my my downside would be that I might use too much nutrients, but I probably wouldn't burn or anything of that nature. But if I were going to the hydroponic thing, I'd have to be careful. I want to push it, push it, push it, push it, but I don't want to push it too far. And, so, both, and both growers, being the hydro and the soil grower, mm -hmm. they know how their plants are functioning. I gotcha. And how much they, they can feel push. for it. Now, for the novice, and say, you know, now mm -hmm. that we're legal recreational for plants mm -hmm. in Oregon, mm -hmm. you know, mom and pop, grandma and grandpa, you know, they don't care about any of that. Yeah. They just want something that's going to stimulate their plant, grow it mm -hmm. correctly, grow it organically. Yeah. They don't need to push it. And they're going, wow, I can cut back my food? Mm -hmm. Heaven forbid miracle grow, which some people use. And hopefully, Holy moly. I know, it's a sad thing, but it works the same way, increases mm -hmm. that uptake. Mm -hmm. Or hopefully they're coming in here and they're buying nectar mm -hmm. and say, you know, we're going to give you this additive or buy this additive mm -hmm. or get one of the sample kits mm -hmm. and you can even cut back 30%. So now you're going to get even more bang for your buck out of your ah, nutrients. Okay. So it's not for all of your customer base, but for some of them, okay. they want to save a buck mm -hmm. and they'll utilize it for that purpose. So, so when you say additive, it is an sure. additive. So uh, at, at, the, high, at the, the sharp end of the stick, they probably know what they're doing. They'll be able to handle it. And at the other end of it, you might save a little, you might grow a little more. It's no big deal. So it's a pretty safe product to use in most cases. It's not going to cause a problem. It's only good. Yeah. For the most part. 
It's all positive. About. I mean, it's cool. safe with aquaponics in your fish. Okay. You really? Your plants, absolutely. Well, how does you that know, work? We even have it labeled there, aquaponics safe. Let me in the way, tell me what that is. So I've got a, like a koi pond or something? Well, what are you talking about? Uh, let me give you the Reader's Digest version sure. of Microbe Life. So this line, this company's been around 43 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ecological Laboratories is our main brand. So right. basically that started 43 years ago in the septic side with the dry solubus bacteria that we put in the septic systems to break down the solids. We oh. soon realized that also you worked in water clarification. Uh -huh. So two years after the launch of Ecological Laboratories doing very, very well in the septic side uh -huh. of things and doing it naturally and effectively, sure. how you broke down solid waste. Uh -huh. We soon found out like, wow, this is working in water clarification, plant and fish health as they move further. And the pond industry launched for us. Uh -huh. um, we what does saw, that make it evaporate or get heavy and drop to the bottom? Or what does it do to the, 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 the stuff that's in the water? Is that what it cleans the water basically for the fish? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, it not only is affecting the, the ecosystem and the water, but it's basically complementing the plants, basically the structure of what they take in for a food wow. source. Huh. You know, it's huh. like a multivitamin in I a gotcha. sense. But, you know, the, the natural environment creates a lot of things that effectively run, you know, in nature, you know, with circulation in the water, mm -hmm. plant life, fish waste that cycling, that breakdown of solids. But my point that I was gonna make to yeah. you, how does that work, Bob? Mm -hmm. Our pond industry, we mm -hmm. came out with a product called Microblift PL, that's for pond and lagoon. Okay. So ironically, lagoon. it comes in a clear bottle like this. Uh -huh. I wish I had one here to show them. And basically, that's what we sell as one of the number one selling strongest bacteria in the world to 22 different countries. Okay, a lot of that consortium is what we have in Photosynthesis Plus. Mm -hmm. But we've added on top of that because of what we do in the garden industry. Interesting. But that bacteria was focused on, like you said, on helping solid waste mm -hmm. break down, yeah. things to become more digestible, but doing it environmentally safe and soundly. See, this is interesting to me because I was thinking it might be nice to put in a lagoon. Absolutely. Pour the bottle in if you want it. No, it's a beautiful thing. But again, we have pond supplements and uh, we also have aquarium for the pet stores. Oh, really? We run the whole gauntlet. And aquaponics systems, the whole... The and whole aqua yeah. So we even have a label there, aquaponics safe. Right, wow. on, right on the uh -huh. label. So good for your plants, safe for your fish. Absolutely. See, I just made the slogan for you there. So being aquaponics, which that is an up and growing market for mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. uh, there is an attraction to it there. Cool. Yeah. Well, you know what we should do is uh, we should get out of here because uh, I think you covered it. Okay, Bob. So if you want to buy some, OCGFam.com, OCGFam2018 code, save 20%. But you don't get free shipping, right? Well, you do get free shipping if you order $100 or more, Bob. Okay, yeah, but if it's below $100. $12. Bucks. $12. 12 bucks. that's it. Anywhere in the country. Outside of Alaska like and Hawaii. You like that? You problem? know your shit. You, you train me well. <laughs> That's the show for today. I love you. Carl loves you too. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. And if you buy anything while you're there, use the code OCGFAM2018. You're going to save 20%. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.